I usually talk about obsessions on my show. I hear you have one with murder mysteries. Since I've been like 12 years old, I've been fascinated with why people do what they do and don't do what they don't do. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Yes. I mean, if you really can figure out why people do the things they do and don't do the things they don't do, you got a real leg up on the world. Yeah, you can figure out how to fix that crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's and lovely. other things. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you've devoted a whole podcast to these mysteries. Yeah. What does that say about you that you like murder? <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole podcast. You better hope that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you know how to get away with it. You, yeah. You well, no. You it. figure out why people do this, then you can figure out ways to keep them from doing it, right? Yeah. You can figure out how to stop this from happening. How to spot them before they do it. Yeah. And because you deal with things like the one I'm doing now is about Chris Watts, the family annihilator. He, he just killed his pregnant wife and his two little girls. And, and he didn't give any reason. He, well, he's given them now. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that would be interesting to hear. Yeah, it, exactly. And they, you know, your story goes a whole lot better when you're the only one telling it. And as soon as people started asking questions, he yeah. folded up like a pup, in, uh, a pup tent in a windstorm. He just, bang, yeah. he just gave it up. And now he's in, he'll be in jail for the rest of his life. Yeah. And he's destroyed all of these lives for absolutely no reason. That's what I'm saying, but you're gonna find the reason, right? That's yes. the whole point. I love, I love, that's so yeah. scary, but interesting. Yeah. I don't know, that kind of stuff really trips me. I can't watch Dateline, I can't watch any of that stuff. Yeah, well, you don't wanna to listen to this podcast. Maybe I won't. Yeah. Maybe you come with like a fun one, like a fun podcast. Yeah, well, we have fun, <laughs> like, we do that too. Like one where people live. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go deeper. Would you be willing to let me analyze you a bit more? Oh, listen, if you're willing to go in here. I'm, getting, I'm ready. I'm, listen. You don't want to get in here. I'm ready. I'm not afraid. Let's step into my office. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. You were obviously on the couch. Oh. I mean, your legs are going to be really high in the seat. <laughs> it's a very high seat. <laughs> oh, let's see. Is that how they are in the, yeah. No. I would fall asleep in therapy if this is what it looked no, like. I, I actually. They'd be like, open up, and I'd be like. <laughs> you, you sure this is a trip you want to take, mm -hmm. sister? Yes. Yes, brother, let's do it. Okay, so yeah. when was the last time you really cried? Um, I'm crying inside right now. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you're uncomfortable around people. Okay, yes. okay, okay. What's the one thing in life you're still trying to find? My hair. <laughs> I swear, Here, I you swear. Can, I you can borrow mine. I went, I went to bed one night and it you was there. You can borrow mine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, went to... I found this lovely little piece. Yes. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. You look beautiful. Anyone can have hair. Um, what is the one I thing? I went to bed one night and it was there and I woke up the next morning and it was gone. <laughs> Me too, that's I why swear. I'm wearing weed, brother. Wait. <laughs> It's I getting swear, thin. I, I've been bald since I was 12. <laughs> That's all right. It's tough. I like it. Uh, you know, tough I read doctor. one time that 78% of men would amputate a body part rather than be bald. I know one they wouldn't to be yeah. bald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's useful. Um, what is the one thing you'd tell 16 year old Phil? What did I tell 16 year old Phil? Mm -hmm. Boy, you are going to love your life. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, you realize you're blessed. That's awesome. You're going to love your life. You're going to love your woman. Yes. <laughs> What's the one trait of yours that you'd like to change? Oh, one trait of mine I'd like to change. I talk so damn slow. <laughs> God. Do you know that that's... I mean, like, is, there a, is there a fast forward button here? <laughs> you... <laughs> Spit it out, boy. Wait, you know what I feel like when I'm on the voice of Blake Shelton, because that's how he talks. Exactly. I'm like, get there. I know. I'm like, and and he does it from higher up, so it takes longer to hit your ears. Yes, you do too. I'm so short. Yes, he yeah. takes so long to no, say I would one talk, sentence I would of talk, seven words. I would talk faster, but then there are times when I get going, and you know, people think at 12 to 1400 words a minute and talk at 125 words a minute, and Robin will sometimes gust up to 160, but I talk at about. <laughs> 
I'm talking about 80 or 100, so I think we average out between the two of us. She's, Robin's like me. Um, <laughs> what's the secret, actually, what's the secret to being married for 43 years? What? Well, there's a couple, actually. Okay. Uh, I learned that whenever she says what, it isn't that she didn't hear me. <laughs> She's giving me a Jeez. chance to change what I said. Okay. So, you need to recognize those opportunities. Oh my God, I totally do that. I, I married her for her looks, but not the ones I get sometimes in the kitchen. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.